What is up my friends? My name is Josh, also known as The Josh Watson, and today I am going to be changing my hair. Um, I have had a man bun for quite a long time, about four years now actually. Um, my hair is currently uh, pretty long, it comes down to about here, uh, you'll probably see it in a sec. Uh, but today, I'm going to be going and cutting my hair, and I'm going to be dyeing it bright red. And it should be a ton of fun. Yesterday I did a zombies challenge, and I said that if I failed the challenge, I would have to cut and dye my hair. I would let you guys pick the color. Um, the consensus was that I was going to dye my hair red. Unfortunately, I did fail the challenge and uh, did not complete that Easter egg with no perks. It was a very, very hard challenge, though. And I, we got very close, honestly. I was about to go to the boss fight. But unfortunately, I did go down, and so now I'm going to have to go and cut my hair. It should be a ton of fun. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Give it a thumbs up if you guys are excited. Let's jump right into this. I'm actually honestly really, really excited about changing my hair. I've been kind of feeling uh, the need for a change for a while now. Like I said, I have had the man bun for a couple of years. And, um, and I, I, you know, I like to change my hair pretty often. And, um, and so this is probably the longest I've had the same hairstyle in my entire life, actually. Other than maybe like when I was a kid. For a long time, I just had a buzz cut as a kid. Um, and I probably had that for longer than four years. But it was when I was a kid, my parents were responsible for, you know, cutting my hair. Like they were making the decisions. But like, as long as I've been making my decisions for my own hair, I don't think I've had the same hairstyle for such a like consistent length of time. And so I'm definitely feeling the need for a change. I thought about doing some different things with, you know, the length of my hair that I have, but I decided it's time for a change, it's time to do something very different, and I'm honestly, I'm excited. I like being kind of unique, you know, I like, that's why I went with the man bun, uh, it's not something that a lot of people have, and, um, and, and for a long time it was unique, and then it be, kind of became more mainstream, and uh, it's not quite as unique anymore. And I've just decided, you know, it's it's time for a change. I'm, I'm definitely going to give my stylist a little bit of, you know, I'll, I'll kind of let her dictate exactly what haircut I get because I don't really, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I want, honestly. I know that I want it short, um, and I know that I want it to look good with the shape of my head and the way that I trim my beard and my style and stuff. And so I'm just going to kind of talk with her and figure out exactly what haircut I'm going to get on the top of my head um, and just make sure that it looks good. I'm actually kind of thinking about having this whole, you know, you guys picking a color I dye my hair be kind of a regular thing. I'm going to have to re-dye my hair about once a month, roughly. Depending on how quickly my hair grows and how long the dye job lasts and stuff like that, I'll have to dye re -dye it fairly regularly, though. And so I may, as I re-dye my hair, um, I may let you guys continue to, you know, pick other colors and just, you know, kind of go from there. I think it would be a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can um, on this whole process, um, you know, cutting my hair, putting in the bleach, dyeing it, because I will have to bleach the top of it and then put in the color. Um, and the problem is I'm, I'm actually going by myself, I'm, like Micah's not coming with me. Some of you guys may remember a long time ago when Micah, Micah had super, super long hair and she cut it short to like the undercut that she has now. Um, and I actually vlogged that, but I was there, like I was vlogging her, you know, getting the haircut and stuff, and so that was pretty easy, but uh, Micah's not going to be here to, or going to be there to, to, you know, hold the camera or hold the phone and, and capture everything. So I've actually, um, I'm actually bringing along my, hello, it's a little crooked, eh. This is my phone tripod. Um, it's got this little clamp here, which I'm trying to show you guys one-handed. It's got this little clamp here where I can like clamp my phone into it. Because um, I actually vlog on my iPhone 7. It needs to be tightened up though. Um, and so I can, you know, it's, it's a little small tripod. I can like set it up somewhere uh, to hopefully, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to do a little bit of a time lapse where you'll just see like kind of fast forwarded um, through the process of cutting my hair and then putting in the bleach and stuff. And then every once in a while I'll pull the phone over and do a little, you know, talk to you guys about what's happening. I'm hoping that that should work just fine. I've never been to this stylist before, and so there's a possibility that this place may just be like, no, you can't be filming while you're in here or something. I don't think that should be a problem, uh, but I guess I'll find out. Alrighty, here we go. I, I'm definitely nervous, I, I, which I didn't really anticipate, honestly. I had short hair for most of my life uh, before I grew it out. Um, I know that I look, well, actually, it's, it's, I don't think I've ever had short hair and a full beard. Well, no, I have, but not like, not for a long time. Um, cause yeah, cause I grew a beard right as I started growing my hair out. Like I grew a full beard right when I started growing my hair out. So, um, it should be interesting though. I, I think, I think it's going to look good. I'm, I'm excited.
so the bleach is in right now and uh, it, apparently the color is lifting pretty quickly which is good um, because it, I mean some, sometimes you have to leave it in for like a really long time but it's actually yeah you can't really see but uh, I've got like tin foil and stuff on my head to try to keep it off the other areas but apparently it's going pretty well the top of my head is yellow <laughs> Man, this is weird. Yeah, we're right about there. <laughs> yeah, it looks, I mean, looks more like what I would imagine yeah, the chair is supposed to look like. Yeah. I think we just need a couple of pieces a little lighter. You're going to be able to have yellow hair and red hair. All, yeah, all in one day. Yeah. Oh, it's more of like a gold color when the dye on the... Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. My hair is literally yellow. <laughs> it actually looks kind of cool, honestly. But uh, but we're gonna keep going and go all the way, and we're gonna we're gonna dye it red now. My hair is very poofy and bright yellow. I feel like a bird or something. <laughs> So we're in the final stage here of the color. I've got tinfoil taped on my head to keep the color from getting anywhere else. And I am so excited to see how this looks. Like it, it honestly looked really good with the bleach in it. Um, and like the haircut looks fantastic. I am so excited. It's red. <laughs> That's so crazy. And here it is, my friends, the new me. And I absolutely love it. I think it looks so good. And I love, I love, I don't know, I love having the short hair. I love the fact that there's not a bun on the back of my head uh, because that actually was getting a little bit annoying. Uh, anytime I wanted to like lay down or even like lean back in a chair, I'd have this giant bun on the back of my head uh, that was kind of annoying. But, uh, but now my head is free once again and I have fabulous hair that I absolutely love. Uh, it's a little, it's a little poofy right now because of the product uh, that's in it, and so I think I won't always have it quite this tall. Uh, maybe a little more, a little more uh, chilled out, I guess. But honestly, I, like, I love this. It looks so good, and I'm loving it so much already. It's, I love, like, I was actually planning on it being quite a bit shorter than this, uh, but the stylist said, you know, let's, let's go kind of long and see how I feel. And honestly, I love it. I think it looks great. Which is why I went to a really nice place. This was, this was not cheap to get done. Um, I, this, the entire thing with the haircut and the dyeing, everything was $170. Um, so it was, it was pricey, but it was absolutely worth it. And, uh, I, I think I'm going to keep this for a while. I think I'm definitely going to, definitely going to get this redone, um, as often as I need to, to keep it, you know, looking good and looking awesome. And so well, let me know what you guys think of it. And, uh, I, I, what I might even do honestly is just change colors every couple months. Um, like rather than just staying red all the time, I, but I, I do love the way the red looks it looks so good like I'm I am so happy with this so if you guys have enjoyed make sure to drop a big fat thumbs up on the video I will definitely I, I'm definitely gonna try to vlog more often than I have been um, especially with this like I just I feel so cool and so awesome and so I want to vlog more often now and so yeah I'm definitely gonna try to get back into weekly vlogs at least so make sure to stay tuned on the channel for that. I've also got, I've got, honestly guys, I have some really, really cool pre-recorded videos coming out in the near future, um, especially as leading up to the release of Call of Duty World War II. I've got some very cool stuff that's gonna be happening in and around that. So make sure you guys are staying tuned on the channel. You guys are awesome. I'm the Josh Watson. I will see you guys all in the next one.